Hello, I believe there are six elements of philosophical health, the six of which must fulfill a certain positive potentiality in order for philosophical health to be complete. So let me share with you this screen. As you see here, we first have the bodily sense. How do you feel in your body simply? What's your relationship with your body? Are you your body? What are the degrees of liberty of your body in the world? Then you have the sense of self. Are you a person that has a strong sense of self? What is the self in relationship with the body? What can you do? How do you define yourself? How do you view your identity? Then we have the sense of belonging. To what group do you feel that you belong? Do you have a strong sense of belonging? How important is it for you to belong? Do you belong to ideals or rather to human collectives? Do you belong? Do you feel that you belong to nature? And then we have the sense of the possible. This is very important because it is about what do you sense you can do in terms of potentiality, in terms of horizon in terms of feeling that your desires can become a reality. Then we have the sense of purpose. Do you have an overarching ideal? Do you have a deep orientation, a concept that you want to embody? What are you doing in the world? Then, last but not least, the philosophical sense. So this is the overarching philosophy of your life. This is how you view the meaning of life the meaning of your life, and your cosmology about why things exist. So these six elements are very important. We are embodied. We have a self. We belong or not. We want to feel that we have a sense of the possible, but that sense of the possible can be depleted to the extent that it can, in some cases, pathological cases, feel like close to zero. There is the sense of purpose. What would we be without a purpose? Perhaps would we just fulfill a societal function, a little bit like a machine? And you see how this, all these senses, of course, are interrelated, intercreated. And the philosophical sense is the idea that all this can be explicit. Sometimes we do have a purpose, but we're not really aware of it. And it is important to, through philosophical self-care or through philosophical counseling, through an attention to our philosophical health, to bring about the philosophical sense that gives meaning to our existence. So I do use this division in six elements to conduct my interviews, which are sense-making interviews towards philosophical health. And that's it for this short introduction to a topic that is, of course, much more complex. I invite you to read my published papers about philosophical health and the forthcoming papers and books and look at the Philosophical Health International Movement, philosophical.health, and welcome to join the movement. That was a short introduction to what can be your own experience, whether you decide to become philosophically healthy by yourself or by reading and consulting with philosophical counselors who are not here to tell you how to think, but to help you realize that potential, our intellectual potential, which is extremely important today to make the world not only a better place, but a more philosophically healthy place.